blessing on this eighth day of the Holy Convocation for the Feast of Tabernacles. And welcome to 144,000 teachers, the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Inviting you again for the homecoming, the Holy Convocation for the Feast of Tabernacles. Lest we forget, we want to remember the wonderful principle of true education which will bring down false education, which will make Babylon to fall. We encourage you to learn these principles, but do not take too long learning them. Just teach them, pass them on, play the video with a group of people and prepare teachers for the Lord to teach this wonderful truth. As well, the seven S, the seven pillars of our faith in their order, we need to teach the Savior, the sanctuary, the Sabbath, the soul temple, the state of the dead, the spirit of prophecy, and the second coming. Following now the wonderful truth about the meaning of the Redeemer and the five roles of the Redeemer. These also need to be taught and understood, even by the Christian world. Entering the wonderful sanctuary, we have discovered how many truth and beautiful truth of the plan of redemption are represented here. And specifically here, because we are celebrating the feast, we know that the feast of Passover is found in the court, unleavened bread, first fruit and Pentecost in the holy place and the day of atonement. Ten days after the feast of trumpets was celebrated in the most holy place, followed five days later by the feast of tabernacles, which was actually an invitation by the high priest to the whole congregation after the day of atonement was over to celebrate an announcement of the second coming of Christ. All these wonderful truths are taught in the sanctuary and much more. And as we saw in the celebration of the feast, we started in September 2022, precisely on the 28th of September, Gregorian Reckoning, to celebrate New Moon by the Feast of Trumpets on the first of the seventh month again entering into now the fall feast and the celebration also of the biblical calendar continuing in october 2022 for the seventh month with 10 days after trumpet the day of atonement on the 10th of the seventh month which we celebrated on the 7th of the month of october 2022 gregorian reckoning followed five days later, according to Leviticus chapter 23, on the 15th of the seventh month, corresponding to the 12th of October 2022, we celebrated the first day of Tabernacles. And then the last day of Tabernacle, which is today on the 19th of October 2022, we are celebrating now the 22nd of the seventh month. And again, as a reminder, the 15th of the seventh month, is always also a seven-day Sabbath as well as the 22nd of the seventh month. So today is again a dual beautiful convocation of the Feast of the Lord and the seven-day Sabbath. Wonderful truth that we need to teach more and more. We have seen also the beautiful teaching of the Soul Temple as we presented the brain nerves and the full restoration that the Heavenly Father has planned to do in our mind in the frontal lobe where this is where the mind is and to restore those brain nerves which are the wonderful wonderful way of communicating with us the best electrical system that ever exists and now we have seen also more fully the difference between true and false education with the state of the dead in genesis 3 adam and eve were tested a very simple test and it had to do with, are they going to believe the Lord who told them not to part, to take of that part, that fruit, or the serpent, which was Satan, when he put doubt into their mind that they would not die if they part of that fruit. Uh, that fruit. So this is a big teaching that we need to understand in Genesis 3, right there at the beginning of the Bible, the true education and the false education was presented. True education based on faith, false education based on doubt now as we enter the wonderful spirit of prophecy we saw between daniel and revelation which are one 
that there is a celebration that the Roman Church is planning for 2025, and it could actually be stopped if we were faithful to teach this wonderful truth of the book of Daniel, the spirit of prophecy, and also based on the book of Revelation, which are one. And we hope and pray that you will pass this message as fast as you can and as, as many people as you can, preparing the people, making ready a people, prepare for the coming of the Lord. Now we are entering into day number eight with the agenda, lest we forget, and it's pointing to the second coming. The agenda for the second coming presents actually some wonderful truth. We will also be participating in foot washing, the Lord's Supper, and then we will enter into the study itself of the seventh pillar, which is the second coming. We also have another wonderful truth to present to you. Many of you may never have heard about it, and it's the Mazawath, which is mentioned in the Bible. And it's the book that used to exist, three of them actually, in the sky at creation, which Adam and Eve and the patriarchs knew until Moses, who was given to build a sanctuary where the Lord could dwell in. And Maz the Mazarot has three books, and so is the sanctuary that has three compartments. Many, many beautiful truth and light that are coming to us today in these last days in order to finish the work. And you will find out to the Maserat that the plan of redemption is also found and even more details bringing the feast together and when Christ is coming on the earth again. It does not give a date, but according to this wonderful truth of the constellation on the first, second and third book, you will discover when Christ came the first time and according to this wonderful teaching of the Maserat corresponding to the sanctuary, when is he coming the second and the third time? Not according to dates, but according to timelines and signs. So we pray and hope that you will continue to study. And we send you again with a blessing from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 21. The blessing that was given to Laodicea, the seventh church, the church who is called lukewarm. She's not a bad church. Her condition is poor, but she can still remedy her problem. And to her as well, the Savior gave her a promise. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I'm set down with my Father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. May the Lord bless you as you continue to study and be courageous and present this message to as many people as possible. And by giving this message, you will be then settled into the truth, never to be moved both intellectually and spiritually and vindicate the character of the Heavenly Father before the whole universe. This is our goal at 144,000 teachers to finish this work in righteousness. May the Lord bless you and cause His face to shine upon you and give you peace always.